Inside Out versus Outside In tracking is a common comparison in the VR space. Except I want to bash my head through a wall every time I see it brought up, because it's usually people comparing camera-based tracking to lighthouse-based tracking, instead of inside-out tracking to actual outside-in tracking. Lighthouse tracking is a type of inside-out tracking. But the sensors are on the outside. That isn't a sensor. Base stations basically do nothing except blast IR lasers out into your play space. That's a gross oversimplification, but whatever. The things actually doing the sensing or detecting are these photodiodes that are spread out across lighthouse track devices. This means that the device itself, whether it's a headset controller or tracker, is the thing doing the tracking by detecting the lighthouses, not the other way around. This means lighthouse tracking is inside-out tracking. More specifically, marker-based inside-out tracking. What people usually mean when referring to inside-out tracking is markerless inside-out tracking, or for the case in most headsets, slam tracking. This type of tracking just uses the cameras on the headset to figure it out. It may seem pointless to make this distinction just to be able to call lighthouse tracking inside-out tracking. To many people, it just seems way more intuitive to call it outside-in tracking. Even Pimax does it. But intuition can be wrong. Lighthouse tracking actually shares more similarities with camera-based tracking than it does with true outside-in tracking like, say, the Constellation system on the Rift CV-1. Inside-out tracking implies that the device with the sensors on it is the thing that's moving. In contrast, outside-in systems have stationary sensors that track moving devices. The Rift did this by having IR lights on the headset and controllers that the sensors were able to pick up. When compared to lighthouses specifically, these sensors have the drawback of actually needing to be connected to your computer. Lighthouses don't have this problem because they don't care about your computer. They just need to be connected to power. I suppose another way to look at it would be that a lighthouse device treats a base station no differently than a camera track device may treat a piece of furniture in your room. As a reference point, outside in base systems treat the device itself as the reference point. Now more than ever is a good time to make this distinction. I personally thought that true outside-in tracking would be dead, but we're actually seeing a resurgence of it in full-body trackers. Stuff like Haratora X and XCap are using them with traditional IMU-based setups to try and reduce drift. But the thing I find the most interesting is DiverX's contact track. It's a true alternative to positional-based tracking systems like Lighthouse or Constellation. What I find most interesting about it is that it further drives a wedge between lighthouse tracking and true outside-in tracking. The cameras contact track uses can only track two things at a time, probably because they have to actually keep track of stuff. Compare this to lighthouses, where one lighthouse can theoretically be used with an infinite amount of devices at the exact same time. I'm not trying to say that lighthouse tracking and camera tracking are on the same level convenience-wise, or that they're even the exact same thing, because they simply aren't. One requires external hardware, the other doesn't. End of story. However, I think it's important to understand that both technologies are fundamentally inside-out, especially now that we're seeing more and more true outside-in systems. If you asked me a few months ago if I thought that inside-out tracking was the future of VR, I would have said yes, but now, I'm not really sure. We're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with some of these new outside-in technologies, and if they actually stick or not.